Ahava and blessings. I'm wishing all of you a beautiful Magdalene Shabbat day. And I do like to come on here on Fridays to give a little message. And as I was preparing the beautiful ceremony I will be teaching on Tuesday for the month of Nisan, which is the month of Aries, this new lunar cycle, I've been meditating a lot on the letter Hey, and this is the Aramaic Hebrew letter Hey, a very powerful letter. And this is the letter that created the zodiacal frequency of Aries. And all of these Aramaic Hebrew letters have a lot of teachings, transmissions, activations, mystery teachings. But I did want to share one teaching that we can bring into our week. On Shabbat day, I really think it's important, of course, to unite heaven and earth, the inner, the outer, really embody the energies of the light and to enjoy life, right? To enjoy intimacy, to enjoy celebration. It's a powerful day where we can actually access higher dimensions of our soul. I, 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 I like to wake up on Fridays and, or in the evenings when I go to bed and just pull down physically with my hands that higher dimension of our soul. And so the letter Hey, and we can bring this into our teaching again. Um, one of the teachings is that first breath that Alaha, Divine Mother Father, breathed into uh, Adama. Adam is Adam, the first androgynous human. It's that first breath. And so this breath represents the infinite potential of our creative power, the infinite act of creativity within all of us. And so one of the teachings of Hay is that no matter what we are going through, the challenges, the fears, the separation, the solution to everything is to connect with our creativity, to connect with the power of creation, to weave things together, to mend things, to expand all that we want to be expanded so it's a really powerful letter that teaches us that we all have this ability right a lot of times we look for the external for validation or we compare ourselves and say wow this person is so creative or this person has so much expansion right or this person really knows how to um, harmonize challenges the thing is that we all have this potential and so we can actually bring in this energy of the hay into um, our present moment into our awareness and say, wait a minute, hey, right? That letter, that powerful vibration, say this is the, the first breath. And this first breath is not just in Adama, it's in all of us. We contain this first breath because we are part of this seed creation between Adama and then when Adama separated with Eve and they became two, the seed creation of Adama and Chava, Adam and Eve. And so we have this first breath. We have this infinite potential of creation and of creativity, right? And so another beautiful um, teaching of hey that we can also bring into our Shabbat and throughout the week is that hey purifies, and well, not purifies, let me say this again. hey gives us the capacity to breathe more and purifies the air that we bring into our bodies. And so when we can breathe stronger and hold more breath, that means we can hold more creation, more creativity, more abundance, more manifestation, right? And so there are many ways to meditate with this letter. Oh, also circulation, really good for circulation. Um, we can look at the letter and meditate, or you can just inhale, exhale, and mentally vibrate, hey, or just inhale, Hey. And on the exhale, you inhale and on the exhale, you vibrate hey. And when you do it, you can even actually move the body. Let's do it together. Inhale. Hey. When you move the body as you vibrate, hey, you bring that sound to the different parts of the body that you are moving. You can actually take your drum out and drum with the hay. This is the power of the letters of creation. And so remember, let us take this into our Shabbat day and remember the Shekhinah and Mary Magna as the embodiment of the divine feminine presence. And we bring duality into unity. We celebrate the light here on earth. We can access higher a higher dimension of ourselves and let us remember that we hold the breath of the infinite potential to create. We hold the breath of the seven days of creation 
we hold the breath of the Bereshit, that first word of the Genesis story. Sending all of you so much love. Ahara.